So you think you want to etch some glass, huh? It can be done. Hi everybody, my name is Ryan and I am the Laser Noob. And today we are going to learn how to get white etching on glass. We're gonna do a side by side. This is the old way with cold galvanized spray. This is the new way with tempura paint. Old way, very slow with high power. New way, very fast with high power, much faster. Old way, clean up with chemical. New way, clean up with water. Mm. So I've got my favorite way now, for sure, that I, I, now that I've done this and I know it works, but we're gonna do side by side. We're gonna move over to the prep table. We're gonna get two coasters cleaned. We're, we're gonna clean actually four. And we're gonna do two of these with tempura paint. We're gonna do two of these with cold galvanized spray. And we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. You guys are gonna see how long it takes to burn with the cold galvy, and then how long it takes to burn with the tempura. And then you guys can let me know what your favorite is. So with that, let's move over to the prep table and let's get some glass cleaned. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna get your glass cleaned off get all those nasty oils from handprints or whatever. So we're gonna take lacquer thinner and a clean rag. And we're just gonna wipe those guys down a little bit. That lacquer thinner will dry pretty quickly. Let's set our rag aside. Now, what I've done is I've taken a little bit of painter's tape I'll take that painter's tape and I'll just fold it like so. And then I can take my glass coaster on the back side and I can just stick that tape right to it. Now I can dunk that coaster into the tempura paint without getting tempura paint all over my hands. So I'm gonna take that, I have taken tempura paint E agua, three parts tempura, one part water. These cups are about 50 milliliters, so I did 150 milliliters of tempura paint and 50 milliliters of E agua, um, which is more than enough to coat just a few coasters that we're going to do today. So I'm going to take that, I'm just going to dip it. I don't want to dunk it all the way. Just want to dip it in there. Because I don't want paint on the back side. I got a nice thick layer on there. Now I'm going to take that and I'm just going to set it down and we're going to let it dry. I'm going to take my other coaster that I've already got the tape on. We're going to dunk it. Got a nice thick layer. We'll set it down and let it dry. Now, we're going to take our other glass coasters and our cold galvy and we're going to go outside and paint them. All right, so we've got everything prepped. We have our two painted with tempura and we have two painted with cold galvi. Now, the only thing you gotta remember that tempura, take that paint off or that, that tape, paint. I say paint, tape. Don't take the paint off, take the tape off. So now we've got that's all set. Those are all set. Let's open up light burn, bring in our pictures, do our settings, and we'll get to burning. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is open up our files and we're going to bring in our logo. Now, 
these glass tiles that I have, I've got off of Amazon. Um, they're about 90 millimeters square. So I'm gonna make it 85. That gives me a little room to play. Um, I, don't, I don't have to worry about going off the edges or anything. So for our little Iron Man logo, it's 85 height and our width, keeping it in perspective, ends up being 58.283. So with that, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna open up that image. Our speed on this is going to be 41.67 millimeters a second at 80% power. Now I got those settings. What I did is I ran the Norton tile test. I ran that grid using tempura. I've already run it in the past using um, the cold galvy. So I ran that test and figured out what speed and what power. Uh, I will not be using air assist. I will do overscan and we're going to have it at 354 DPI. Okay. So we'll click OK on that. Then I'm going to click on my image and I'm going to hit preview. Now, what that does is it opens up that project and it tells me that it's going to take about 21 minutes to burn this Iron Man on this coaster. So, I mean, 21 minutes for that is, is not bad with a D110 watt and etching on glass. That's actually pretty good. So one of the things I want to show you guys that will make this faster. So this is 21 minutes. Now, if I go into, not that one, into my settings, okay, the little, the little wrench icon, um, and I open up my device settings, you will see what's called the fast white space scan. So with that, if you enable that, whenever the laser is not burning something, it will move at a faster speed. So I'm actually going to be burnt. It's going to go a little bit faster um, when it's not burning. But if with this, it will go much faster on the uh, cold galvanized spray. So if I turn that off, so we were at 21 minutes. If I turn that off and click OK, now I go back to preview. It's up that to 22 minutes and 18 seconds because I'm not going very much faster than the 41 millimeters a second that it's already moving. I got it at 50 and, and I like 50 because otherwise I, I don't want my laser jumping back and forth. So that ups it by over a minute right there. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go back in, open up my settings and re-enable that. Now, if I change that setting... like I'm going to do for the coal galvanized and I change that to 4.2 mill millimeters a second. That's my cold galvy settings right there. And I go in here and I hit preview. It is going to take two hours and 20 minutes to burn this on you doing the cold galvy. So you see the big, huge time difference. I mean, it's two hours longer to burn this. But just to show you guys, it's two hours and 20 minutes if I have fast white space scan turned on. If I turn that off and hit OK, come back to my preview, it's now another hour and 10 minutes more because I've turned off fast white space scan. So. Either way, doing the cold galvy to get white is exorbitantly long. I mean, it's just extremely long. So I'm going to turn that fast white space scan back on. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go back up here and change this back to the 41 millimeters a second is fine. So let's go ahead and frame this. We're starting on center and current position. I'm going to frame it. I need to come down a little bit. Let's see how that looks. And frame it one more time.
once more for good measure. That looks pretty good. And with that, we're going to go ahead and start the burn. Okay, so the tempura one is done. Now it's time to do the one coated with cold galvanizing compound. So I went back and double checked my settings and I found that for the cold galvy, uh, my best settings were going to be four millimeters a second at 70% power. Um, I do have um, uh, white space scanning turned on and we are ready to burn this so let's frame it and that looks good let's get to burning
Okay, so we burned both of our tiles, our glass coasters. This is the tempura before cleaning. Uh, now this took, it was at 354 DPI and it took 21 minutes to burn, okay? Here is the cold galvanized before cleaning. Now this was at 254 DPI and it took one hour and 45 minutes. 21 minutes, one hour, 45 minutes. So let's take these, take them over to the prep table. We'll get them all cleaned off and we'll see what the final product looks like. Okay, so for the tempura paint, nice easy cleanup. All we need is a little water. Let me put that in there. And you can see how just the water starts to get that stuff right off there. And there we go. Now, as far as the other one goes, I'm going to get rid of that water. We're going to take the one with the cold galvy, going to put it down in there, get a little lacquer thinner. I'm going to let that set on it for a second, and you'll see the, the paint will actually start to bubble up after it's set on there for a second. Now I'll take my rag, get some lacquer thinner on it. And clean it off. More chemical. This one's a little bit messier because of course you're going to get cold galvy on your hands. You can wear gloves. It, notes off there. And there's our cold galvy. All right, let's put them side by side and see which one looks better and see which one you guys like better. So before we put those two side by side so you guys can see, I, I told you in, in other videos that you guys are going to see my screw ups. Now, you saw how I stopped the laser here a little while ago and the, the cold galvy was peeling up and it actually just cleared it right off. I mean, I mean the glass is still etched, but it's not white. So then I had to go back and mess with the settings and see if I could what was going on so this one this one turned out a little little black and then this one came out good so what happened was when I burned the uh, one with the with a tempura paint I was at the higher DPI so when I brought the other picture in I changed the speed on it the speed and the power but I did not change my DPI so my DPI was too high for the cold galvy which is what caused that to peel up so it took me a couple of runs to figure out what I had done when I, you know, how I screwed that up. So a couple of differences here. So this is the, this is the clean tempura. Okay. This is our cleaned cold galvy. Now what you'll notice is that the cold galvy is whiter, definitely whiter than the tempura. Okay. So 
but when you're looking at them, and I don't know if you can see the detail on the camera, the, the tempura paint one is much smoother than the white cold Galvi. I mean, the white is nice and white, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it doesn't look as clean as the tempura. So this is something you guys are going to have to decide on. You know, can you sacrifice a little bit of, of, of whiteness for the nice, smooth, quick tempura? Or do you want to, you know, do an hour and 45 minutes for one coaster? Now, remember, I'm using the X-Tool D110 watt. Your burn speed is going to be much longer if you're running a 5 watt, or it's going to be a little bit quicker if you're running the 20 watt. So that's up to you guys to decide. So I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to show you what I've done and let you guys decide on how you want to do it. So anyway, with that, now, um, if you guys are looking forward to new upcoming videos, if you want to stay informed on when they're coming out, head on down to my, my Discord channel. It's linked down below. And I'll make announcements as to when my next videos are coming out. So if you guys are looking forward to them, you'll know exactly when, what day they're going to come out and what time. So with that, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit like. And I'll see you next time.